Welcome back to this week's devotional entitled Keynotes to Effective Living. For those of you now joining us, I am Turan Nicholas and I am coming to you from Revival Time Assembly in San Fernando under the leadership of Pastors Lloyd and Norma Hart. Yesterday, we touched on the first keynote of Christlikeness. And in case you missed it, at the end of today's note, you can feel free to go back and take that in. I mentioned yesterday the fact that I was a singer and we touched on some of the major scales in music. We then mentioned that knowing your key is fundamental to the singing process. So today, another major scale I wanted to highlight is that of D major. This major key is devotion. So Father, we thank you for yet another opportunity to give honor and glory to your name. Father, we thank you for all that you have done and for all that you will continue to do, dear God. Father, we pray for this word that is about to go forth, that it will touch those that are hearing, O oh God. And Father, we pray a blessing upon the day ahead. In your name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So growing up, and I'm sure some of you can relate to this, your parents may have gotten you involved in various extracurricular activities. And as you go through the different things, you always seem to gravitate to that one particular thing that grabs your attention or that interests you to the point of pursuing it even further without the prompting of your parents. And so for me, singing took this position in my life. Now, because I have a passion for singing, I spend a lot of time practicing or listening to different genres of music or even seeking ways to better my craft. In essence, I made singing my priority as far as activities went, and so my devotion laid there. When I think about effective living, devotion to God is of paramount importance. If we all stop, if even for a moment, and just think about all the many blessings we have, we can't help but give our devotion to the one who has made the way for those blessings. Colossians 3.17 reads, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Have you given God that position of priority in your life? Acknowledging that he is the one that you gravitate to, and that holds your attention. By dictionary definition, the word devotion means love, loyalty, and enthusiasm for a person or activity. Where does your loyalty lay? Are you enthusiastic about the things of Christ? Romans 12.1 urges us to offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. For this is our spiritual act of worship. You see, what I've come to realize is that if we give God his place and acknowledge him as Lord over our life, everything else seems to fall into place. So that's why I choose to live by Deuteronomy 6, 5. To love the Lord my God with all my heart, with all my soul and with all my might. And I encourage you to do the same. Make the decision today to give God your devotion. I hope to see you again tomorrow as we uncover another keynote to effective living.